Guys, it's time to try another beautiful gelato. We are in Via dei Coronari, a beautiful spot of Rome. You must visit, how amazing this area, one of my favorites. Let's walk around Rome enjoying a gelato because we're in Rome. Come on, let's go and get some flavors. This is the Gelateria La Romana from 1947. It's been around for a long time. It's on Via Piave in Rome. I like it here because it's residential. You meet locals and you also meet tourists together. And I kind of like it, you know, it's very nice. Probably my favorite gelateria in Rome. It is a franchising. They've got lots of shops all over Italy, I believe. But quality is very important here. They really believe in quality and the queue tells you about it. There's always a line here when you come here and it's worth it to wait. I normally don't like to wait in lines, but here I do. This is a semifreddo. This is a, basically like a gelato cake. These are slices of gelato cake. Here we got crumbles with gelato and crunches. When you go to a gelato place in Italy, you might find a gelato place where they have the gelato on display and you can see the flavors. Or a place like this, where they say, Italians say, the gelato is better because it's kept in a colder environment and you don't lose all the benefits of the gelato. Who knows who's right? For sure, this is one of the best gelatos in Rome and in Italy. I'm gonna put some chocolate in my gelato. Come on, let me take a look. Uh, dark chocolate, please. Look at that. I put some chocolate in mine. I'm getting a pistacchio and a nonna's biscuit. This is the, the crema, this is biscotto. No, this is the pistacchio, look. Pesto pistacchio. See, you need to be an artist to know how to put gelato together. And that's a biscotto della nonna. Look how creamy it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that, look at the elegance. It's so romantic when you put a gelato on, I like it. No, please, no, no, just gelato. Thank you so much. Thank you. This place has a nice air conditioning, so the gelato is not suffering that much. But the way it's presented is very nice. The creaminess, I've had this before, so I know how good it is. Mm. Biscotto della nonna. Mm. No, that's dense as the usual Roman or you know Italian, southern Italian um, gelato. It's creamy enough to give a nice experience. It's not too heavy. Sometimes you know you have gelato, it's lots of sugar, very heavy. This is not. This is enjoyable to the to your palate. Very delicate. The pesto pistacchio has beautiful flavors. It's not rich, a crazy rich of the pistacchio. It's um. Again, it's delicate. It's the way I like it. Let's ask the girl if they like gelato. Come here. Did you enjoy the gelato today? What flavor did you get? Panna cotta. Panna cotta. <laughs> Panna cotta is good. You? Chocolate for me. Did you make love with the gelato? Yeah. In Italy, we make love with gelato, okay? This is gelato porn. Um, buon gelato. <laughs> Gelato brings people together. Gelato is a, is a lifestyle. For Italians and for everyone, gelato is a pleasure of life. And today, we enjoy the pleasure that gelato gives us. Grazie. Okay. 
Guys, near the Pantheon, we have Piazza Navona. And about four or five minutes from Piazza Navona, we find this amazing gelateria. Very small. They've been around since 1980. And they believe artisan gelato is what Romans and tourists need to eat. Let's go and try it. Beautiful fresh gelatos made by artisans. The question is, what flavor are we gonna get? Hmm? You can get bacio, ginger and cinnamon, zabaione, apricot, cream. I'm getting zabaione. Zabaione is basically a, a cream, like a custard, made with eggs and um, masala. Carmen and Matteo chose apricot and stracciatella, which is cookies and cream, Italian style. Grazie mille, grazie. Ciao, buona giornata. Guys, this is the gelato. I've got pistacchio here, and here is the zabaione. Mmm, such a hot day today, 40 degrees Celsius. It's melting so slow, but you know what? It's old school gelato, which I love. Creamy, balanced with the sugar. Zabaione has very strong flavors because it has the marsala in there. And at the same time, the pistacchio is my favorite flavor. Delicate. They're not the best combination, I didn't choose the right combination, but I'm enjoying it. Look at the consistency. Even though it's 40 degrees, it's not melting, it's still creamy. See, so it's, uh, it's quite firm as a gelato. I'm starting to get used to this flavor of the zabaione mixed with pistacchio. Wow, very interesting. Guys, I need you to see what the cameraman is doing, okay? I'm about to get the camera so you can see the cameraman. He's recording, look what he's doing. <laughs> One hand, camera. <laughs> One hand, ice cream. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we do. He's costing me more for the food he's eating than what I have to pay him for today to film. These cameramen in Italy eat too much. Be careful when you come to Italy. <laughs> Bring the cameraman with you from wherever you are. <laughs> Guys, this is Trastevere. It's a beautiful, funky area of Rome. You must visit. It's famous for its trattorias, uh, pubs, you know, lots of uh, craft beers are made here, great B&Bs. It's a beautiful place where Romans like to go hang out, especially at night, but I do like it for lunch too. Another gelateria I want you to experience is the Martinucci family here. They've been the pastry chef since 1950. They have lots of gelateria and pasticceria around Italy. And this is the one in Trastevere in Roma. Come and have a look at the gelato. Look how they display the gelato. You can see how they are inside. I think it's beautiful, just beautiful presentation. They have great flavors like cheesecake, or the pistacchio from them, the coffee cream, Hazelnut, look how beautiful they look. Fior di latte, oh, that's called Gallipoli. It's like a almond and saffron with some lemon in there too. Pasticciotto, oh, this is a pistachio mixed with uh, biscuit, chocolate, dark chocolate, all the fruit flavors, fruit like peach. We've got the magnum here, cookies and cream, lemon. I think I'm going to try hazelnut and chocolate. I just love them so much, so let's see. Here we have a gelataia. Hi, gelataia, the gelato maker. Hi, look at the smile. Two flavors more? Two flavors, please, yes. Uh, hazelnut yeah. and chocolate, please. Chocolate, dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Dark chocolate. Look at that, look how creamy that is. Guarda, guarda, Matteo, guarda. Bellissimo, wow. Look. Do you want ice cream? No cream, no, no cream. I just want to enjoy the flavors of your gelato. Bellissimo, guarda, wow. Grazie. Grazie a voi. Look. Look how thick. Let's try. Wow, this is real chocolate. Mm. Wow. Wow. Buonissimo. Wow, creamy, nice ingredients. You can tell the ingredients are top quality. So, what's the secret? Only quality. Wow, this is real quality. If you come to Trastevere, no, you must come to Trastevere. You come to Martinucci and experience this. Wow. Mm. Wow. This is my dinner for tonight. Oh, yeah. 
mai di no. Mm. Fantastico. This place is called Gelateria del Teatro. The locals here recommended us to come here and enjoy the gelato, so that's what we do. Okay. That's, we've got the Italian custard, guys. We've got chocolate from Amazon, trifle, ginger, sake with orange. Oh, this is my favorite, fig and almonds. Mm. Hi, my friend, how are you? Can I please have a cornetto, cono, with two flavors? And when I get, um, please, tiramisu, and white chocolate. I'm getting interested for look, look at the way they do it. Look, look at that. Bellissimo. Beautiful, creamy, Italian gelato. Bellissimo. No cream, no grazie. Bellissimo, thank you. And because this place is famous for the fruit gelato, we're also gonna try the coppetta, a cup with melon and lemon. Beautiful, thank you. Grazie, grazie mille. Mm. Not as creamy as the alla romana. Delicate is the word. <laughs> Easy to eat, as you can see, look. It's a type of gelato that maybe it's good to have um, at night after a big meal because it's not that rich. You know, sometimes you have gelato, it can be very rich. It's not very easy to digest. And I like it. There is nothing more beautiful than eating gelato while you walk, while you go for a stroll in Italy. It's just priceless. Buon appetito. Guys, this is the Pantheon. You're inside the Pantheon right now. One of the most beautiful places on the planet. That's the ceiling of the Pantheon. And if it rains, the water does not go through. Can you believe it? It's an open hole in the ceiling. For some reason, the water, the rain doesn't come through. Guys, the next gelato place we're visiting, it's Benki. Ah, it's one of the best, you know why? First, because their chocolate is incredible. So you must try chocolate when you come here. But it's also next to the Pantheon guy. Siamo un cornetto piccolo. Non è gioco fondente. This is the flavors I'm getting. I'm getting dark chocolate with the chocolate grains on top. And I'm also getting beautiful mascarpone with caramelized figs. I would like to get chocolate chocoviar, okay. please, and mascarpone with caramelized figs. Okay. Look how romantic the movement looks. Beautiful. And the chocolate what Venk is proud of. Bellissimo. Eh, ci vuole eleganza, ci vuole. Eleganza, sì. Eleganza. Thank you for the elegance. Grazie. Thank you so much. Cin cin, cin cin. Guys, this is gelato from Venki. Creamy? Ha, it's super creamy. The pantheon is over there, great view. Mm, it's melting, it's very hot today. This dark chocolate is to die for. Not to be fast. It's very hot today, guys. We got 40 degrees Celsius. Caramelized figs and mascarpone to die for, but this beautiful dark chocolate, it's magical. Benki is the best chocolate maker. Mm. I love dark chocolate so much. I always buy this brand. Like when you turn my favorite chocolate brand into gelato, <laughs> it's just heaven. The portions are a little bit smaller than the other gelateria. The price is pretty high, but it's worth it. Absolutely worth it. Can I give um, a score for all the gelati I had in Rome? I think La Romana is my favorite gelati in Rome because of the atmosphere, the shop, the vibe, and the nice flavors. Best chocolate by Venki. So you must come here to try the chocolate. And I have to say, the gelato place in Trastevere the most genuine, probably best for flavors, for the authentic flavors. I enjoyed five beautiful gelati here in Rome. Maybe I can have a, a sixth one. I hope you enjoyed. When you come to Rome now, you know where to have amazing gelatos. Let me know which one you think it looks the best, or which one you tried and you want me to enjoy too. So let me know in a comment below. But thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next Vincenzo's Play video or video recipe.
e ora si mangia gelato